Do the contents of food packages justify the packaging? Imagine if your favorite product turns out to be blended with the finest wood shavings and smelled with beaver anal gland extract and colored with the abdomens of beetles. Is that something you'd be interested in? Not at all. Brands prefer to make tall claims like, all natural, low fat, and a host of other phrases like, immune boosting, light, made with real fruit, no artificial colors, and contains Himalayan salt. What people want to hear is proven through research and they are simply taking advantage of that. In all likelihood, these declarations are only a facade for what's actually lying within. Here are a few things to keep an eye out for. All natural. What exactly is meant by the word natural? There is no formal definition or standard for the phrase. Products that do not contain additional color, artificial flavor, or synthetic ingredients can be referred to as natural by the Food and Drug Administration or FDA. All natural labels can be used to a wide range of items that are packed with preservatives, hormones, processed sugars, and salt which are as such harmful for your body. Made with real fruit. When compared to fake fruits, even if the image is beautiful and the term fruit is prominently displayed on all of it, it's likely that the product will contain fruit juice concentrate, which is nothing but concentrated fruit sugars minus the nutrients and fiber that are found in genuine fruit. Zero trans fat. Trans fat is a well-known health hazard. A product can be labeled as trans fat free, even though it contains trans fat. You may be surprised to learn it. Items with fewer than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving can be labeled as such. Isn't it even more ludicrous that the company has complete control over the serving size? Immunity boosting. Basically, this signifies that the product contains mostly synthetic vitamins. It's an issue, because most of these items are also loaded with inflammatory chemicals, sweets, and artificial colors. Multi-grain and made with whole grain. Multiple grains are employed regardless of the fact that they have all been processed and devoid of fiber and healthy fats, which is the definition of multi-grain. The term whole grain just refers to the usage of some whole grain. If you inspect the ingredient list, you'll likely find that the product contains more refined grain than whole grain. Sugar free and no sugar added. Are sweeteners like maltodextrin and refined starches like maltodextrin and agave nectar included in the definition of added sugars? Makers say other. Wise. However, many nutrition labels in India reflect sugar amounts of zero, despite the fact that the products have been enriched with sugars. Why? Because, according to them, sucrose is the only sugar that counts. Glucose or fructose are not included in the list. Products that contain less than 0.5 grams of sugar per serving are considered sugar-free. That's correct, but it doesn't mean they're sugar-free. Many of them contain artificial sugars, which have been related to cancer, metabolic problems and obesity and diabetes. Gluten-free and ketogenic diet. If it's a craze, it will be used by marketers. Neither regulation nor a guarantee that these goods are genuinely healthy are in place for these diet fads. To your surprise, you will discover that some popular Kato brands contained hydrogenated oils or sources of trans fat forbidden by the FDA, and palm oil, which has been linked to heart disease. It's fantastic for folks with celiac disease or gluten intolerance, but gluten-free items are generally more processed and include the same amount of sugar, fat, salt, and chemicals as their conventional equivalents. So how does one make a choice? Knowing what's in your food is the first step to making healthier decisions. The ingredients list is where you begin to learn about the food you eat, rather than the front of the packaging. It's best to avoid products with too many ingredients you can't identify. If it is loaded with sugar, hydrogenated fat, processed grains, and artificial colors and flavors, you should avoid it in the first go. 
Fortunately, there are platforms that assist you in detecting potential hazards, banned compounds, and explain nutritional labeling. Not only that, they also offer better alternate choices.